Hi, I'm Libby Williams, the Vice President of the Florida Lee Camp Board of Directors. On behalf of the FDL Board, I hope that your summer is starting off as well as possible given the circumstances and that you and your family are healthy. Like you, we are heartbroken that campers are not spending today swimming in Laurel Lake, singing camp songs in the dining hall, and walking arm in arm with their friends down the camp road. Instead, I'm here to share an update on Fleur de Lis financial status given the necessary decision to close for the 2020 season. This video will expand upon the information shared in the accompanying letter. By closing for the 2020 season, FDL has lost close to $750,000 in camper tuition revenue from this summer. FDL's tuition revenue covers approximately 85% of our annual operating expenses, with the remaining 15% coming from donations through our annual Friends Appeal. The co this combination of income from tuition and annual donations has ensured that Fleur de Lee achieves a balanced budget and is not operating at a loss. However, this year, as we look to the end of the 2020 fiscal year, which ends on September 30th, we are projecting a net loss of $400,000. We also project that we will need an additional $400,000 to cover expenses in the first part of FY21 until we begin to receive next year's tuition revenue. You may be wondering why, if camp is closed, we are projecting a $400,000 loss. The answer is that much of Fleur de Lis expenses are fixed or ongoing. For example, FDL spends approximately $130,000 per year on property taxes and insurance coverage alone. Regardless of whether we're open, we are responsible for these and other similar categories of expenses. Thanks to the tremendous work of our executive director and board treasurer, we've been able to reduce our expenses by over $300,000, but that still leaves over $500,000 in fixed expenses for FY20 with no tuition revenue to offset them. One of the most important roles that the Fleur de Lis board serves is to ensure the financial sustainability of camp. It is only through continued sustainability that Fleur de Lis can continue to serve its mission for generations to come. This is a responsibility that the board does not take lightly. In order to secure Fleur de Lis financial future and health, the board has undertaken a seven part multifaceted plan for financial recovery. One, resetting priorities. We have made the decision to postpone the farmhouse project and capital campaign for at least five years. In the interim, we will explore the possibility of funding base level work to make the farmhouse usable in the meantime. Two, reducing expenses. We have very carefully reviewed the budget and reduced expenses where possible, while still ensuring that we will be able to offer an outstanding program to our campers when they return and to maintain the quality of our facilities. Part of this effort has included the very, very difficult decision to reduce our full-time staff. We have eliminated one assistant director position and reduced the FTE of our accounting and office manager. Three, securing available grant funding. Earlier this spring, Fleur de Lis secured a federal Paycheck Protection Program grant that offset our payroll expenses through the spring. Additionally, we're in the process of applying for a New Hampshire nonprofit emergency relief grant, and we will continue to aggressively explore other state and federal relief grants available to nonprofit organizations impacted by COVID-19. Four, borrowing. We have worked very closely with our bank and recently submitted a loan application to help pay immediate expenses. We anticipate that a low interest line of credit will be approved shortly. Five, effective money management. Fleur de Lis Camp has a reserve fund worth approximately $1 million. While we utilize the interest from this fund to offset expenses, we recognize that drawing into the principal is not a financially responsible decision for ensuring the long-term financial sustainability of camp. This fund, along with our property, are our greatest assets and, and what we borrow against and use to show our vitality in grant applications. Six, enrollment. Our financial health is contingent upon having a full camp. A strong recruitment strategy is in development for 2021. We are very pleased that so many of our 2020 families have said that they are not only looking forward to summer 2021, but are also planning to extend their stay at camp next summer. Lastly, seven, fundraising. 
Fundraising is one of the most important elements of our financial recovery plan. We will be launching a major fundraising campaign to help alleviate our current financial crisis and to ensure Fleur de Lis financial health as we move forward. All of us who care deeply about camp, current and former parents, alumni, staff, and friends of Fleur de Lis must work together to ensure that Fleur de Lis remains strong for another 90 years. Help us get our girls back to camp. You will receive more information about this incredibly important opportunity to support Fleur de Lis financial recovery in the coming days. This is the largest financial crisis that Fleur de Lis has ever faced, but with your support, we will come through this. Over 90 years ago, the women who founded Fleur de Lis had a vision of a camp where girls could be their authentic selves, have opportunities to try new things, and take exciting risks, build lifelong friendships, and develop enduring values and leadership skills. That vision is realized every summer, and with all of us working together, that vision will continue to be realized for many, many years to come. Thank you for your continued trust in and support of Fleur de Lis Camp. Until we meet again, be well.